This is just a short beginners video just to show you how to tie uh, or how I tie the tail in. Um, so you just you put your thread onto the hook. You can use this tail for uh, jigs, even dry flies, wet flies or whatever. Um, I'll do some videos uh, later on uh, with specific tails like dry for dry flies etc. Um, this is my PB purple that I'm actually tying up for some people tonight, so I'll just show you how I do this one. Uh, I like the tails quite short on them. My favourite tailing material is what they call Coq de Lyon. Um, it's nice and barred, and it, but it's also very uh, tough. Um, it can take a good bit of punishment in the river. Um, whereas like partridge and things like that can be quite soft in the trout especially trout can rip them to bits um, so your feather will come like that um, the kind of natural way uh, kind of 45 degree angle so what you want to do is bring the uh, the feathers 90 degree to the stem uh, what that does is that lines up uh, all the tips because uh, you want it you want the tail the tips to be nice and even these are far too long but you there's nothing you can really do about it so basically once you get them lined up, just take a clump of maybe six, five or six feathers, rip them off, so you've got the stalks. Now something that can be quite tricky is, is it, you really, depending on the way you tie, you really need to sometimes move them. So just move them from finger to finger, just watch, but you can see there that the, if you can see it, and I try and find the camera, you can see there the, the tips are pretty much lined up, not perfect, but just for any kind of nymph that's fine um, now what you want to do is put it against the hook and try and kind of judge the length that you would you want up personally I like the my nymph uh, tails quite short um, I've seen some people have them away out here I just don't like them like that um, but it's a it's a personal preference so Basically get them to near enough the, 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 the length you want against the, the hook shank. Um, change hands and then I like to put them the full length of the hook and then you're getting a nice even body. Um, so a couple of turns locks it in. Just check your length again. That's just perfect. Now what you want to do is you want to keep the, the feather, the tail on top of the the shank which is this part here that goes along the top um, so what you do is what I do is I just grab them slightly and as you wind down just keep them on top don't let them roll round um, and then once you just get to before the bend starts that's where you want to stop and that's really them tied in but what I do is I just lift them up slightly And then what you do is you bring your thread underneath and then pull it quite, not quite, just uh, taut, not really tight, but, uh, and what that does is it lifts the tail up and then just tie it in. And that's basically you. Um, you don't want them really, not for a nymph, you don't want them splayed, but it just keeps the, it stops the, when it's fishing it stops the, the tail falling down like that you can see there that just springs back up because you've got the thread underneath uh, and then you just pat, cut off your waist and that's you ready to start the rest of the fly but that gives you a really good base to start kind of any nymph pattern wet pattern uh, and it's a really good base I would just practice that until you've mastered tying it in before you start trying to tie a full fly and just as I did with the white whip finishing that. So there's a short video just how to tie the tail in.